Welcome back, Raider Nation. It's Joseph here for Zenny 62. So is there any surprise that Derek Carr notified the Raiders today, Super Bowl Sunday, that he will not accept the trade? Um, it's not surprising. Uh, we know that he went to New Orleans, spoke with Dennis Allen, uh, the general manager and the offensive coordinator. And uh, as per my previous report, they wined and dined him. Uh, spent two days in New Orleans. Now, though the meeting went well, one of the caveats to solidify in the trade was that Derek Carr would renegotiate his contract, which Derek Carr refuses to do. Um, and obviously that's to his best interest. So in the immediate future, the Raider nation will probably have not a very good feeling towards Derek Carr, but when you stop to consider that the only people that are to blame is a Raider organization who gave them that option of a no trade clause. And so maybe the fingers need to be pointed at Dave Ziegler for doing that. Now, when you stop to consider why would they do that, knowing they were going to get rid of him, I really do think that that decision to get rid of Derek Carr uh, came from above Dave Ziegler and obviously more than likely came from Mark Davis. And so they're caught in that quandary. Okay, well, if that's the case, then we have to hold him back, make sure that he doesn't get hurt or else that $40 million guaranteed money uh, does not get assigned to him because he's hurt. So basically Derek Carr decided not to uh, move forward with that, but one of the things that uh, he has going for, for him is that now he becomes probably one of the top free agents in the market. And so, you know, all this is probably calculated because other teams probably figured out uh, exactly uh, that this was going to happen. Now, the Saints still might be in it. You know, maybe that two day stay that he had in New Orleans that this was already talked about. And that was going to be the M.O. that they give out to the public that they want to renegotiate his contract. And Derek Carr may already have a deal in place with the New Orleans Saints or another team, possibly. Um, and it's just the fact that, A, he's punishing the Raiders. The Raiders don't get anything to trade him. He won't accept that Raider uh, trade. And the Raiders lose $5.46 million in cap space. And so, again, it's very possible that the Saints are still in it. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of things that could have been said uh, during that two-day meeting with the Saints. You know, maybe this was already planned to be played out the way it has. But now Derek Carr has options. Now, do I think that a team will come close to giving them that $40 million guaranteed money? No. But at this point, I think Derek Carr wants to prove something or, you know, make that decision on himself that I don't think money is going to be the motivating factor of why he's doing what he's doing. Um, obviously, he's still, from everything that we hear and everything that we see, is bitter about how this ended. And so, again, Derek Carr refused the trade, will not accept any trade offer from the Raiders, but it also looks like the only team that even inquired to set up a trade for Derek Carr were the Saints. So the, the Raiders are left with not too many options. They will cut him uh, more than likely before Wednesday maybe possibly Monday, Tuesday, definitely by Tuesday. And we'll see what happens moving forward. And again, it leaves the Raiders with, okay, so we have a, we don't get any draft capital. We're losing $5.46 million in cap space. We have tons of positions that we need to fill in defense. And we also need a quarterback. So it's going to be interesting in the next few months. The Raiders have a lot of work to do, and we're going to see if the uh, dynamic duel 
of Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler pays off for the Raiders. And we'll see how they put this team together moving forward. Keep it here on Zanny 62 Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, go Raider Nation.